Hello, and welcome to City View, where we give you a close-up view of the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yutze. In our top story, congratulations to Mayor Steve Benjamin, who was recently inaugurated as the 76th president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. This evening is not about, uh, about the inauguration of Stephen K. Benjamin. This is indeed about Columbia, South Carolina, and the Midlands of South Carolina. Uh, this is our opportunity to show in concert with all of our sister cities all across this country exactly what we're made of right here. When we talk about being the most talented, educated, and entrepreneurial city in America, showing people what that means, how we can work together to work and make sure that the needs of all our families are met, that the hopes and dreams of our families can become real, that here in the wealthiest, most powerful democratic nation in the history of the world, that cities can indeed be a force for good. Prior to the inauguration, city council members and city leaders shared their thoughts regarding Mayor Benjamin's recent appointment and the positive impact that they will have on our city. I am elated to witness this historic day for my longtime friend and colleague, Mayor Stephen K. Benjamin, as he begins his term as the president of the United States Conference of Mayors. South Carolina has once again given the U.S. Conference of Mayors an outstanding leader, somebody that can help us through these troubled times and will lead with distinction and honor for the state of South Carolina and the city of Columbia. I really congratulate you, Steve, um, on having the kind of support that, that's necessary. Um, and you are an example of um, what I've tried to tell my sons that they need to do, and, and, and that is to stay focused, take no wooden nickels, and you have to be in it for the right reason. And it's obvious over these years that you are in public service for the right reason. The City of Columbia recently celebrated and recognized National Small Business Week. In order to kick off the week, the city partnered with the Chamber of Commerce and Richland County. As Mayor Pro Tem for the City of Columbia, um, it is, it is my honor to recognize Small Business Week. Uh, we as the City of Columbia have been recognizing Small Business Week uh, for many years. We have an amazing Office of Business Opportunities led by Ms. Melissa Lindler um, and the great staff that's here and so we are honored to be a part of this uh, proclamation and recognition of this day. Following the kickoff of National Small Business Week, the Office of Business Opportunities here with the City of Columbia hosted a Small Business Week conference with over 200 persons in attendance. I must say, there's some synergy across the city around you guys. We're here. They're leveraging resources, they're committing resources, we're looking at ways to be better, better advocates on your behalf. We want to do trainings, we want to do technical assistance, we want to reach, we want to partner with each other, and you'll notice, if you haven't noticed already, if you're here um, at, at any of our activities this week, and you'll notice it certainly during this conference, the level of commitment that you have, not only through the City of Columbia, but also through our other public agencies. Small Business Week continued to be a very busy week in the City of Columbia when the U.S. Small Business Administration sponsored a tour here in our city. We went out and, and visited with um, our Draper Company owned uh, by the uh, Luches, who just are wonderful, wonderful folks. And uh, they, you know, they really, can, they were the Phoenix Award winners, the National Small Business Phoenix Award winners, because they literally came back from the terrific flood uh, and rebuilt their business with a lot of help from SBA, a lot of help with the local community, their church groups, just neighbors helping neighbors. And so it's wonderful to hear those stories. And speaking of business, the 21st annual Black Expo Economic Empowerment Summit was also held in May. The kickoff event was a breakfast for local business leaders and sponsors of Black Expo. Our board looked at our, our footprint of what we've accomplished um, over the 20 years and decided that one of the things that we wanted to do was to make the expo more mission-based, uh, going back to our mission, which is to educate to enlighten and to empower the community. Thus, our theme for this year, building a legacy for your family, 
focusing on the five pillars of economic empowerment, jobs, education, health, wealth generation, and entrepreneurship. Following the kickoff breakfast, the 21st annual Black Expo Economic Empowerment Summit was held at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. Empowering, engaging, um, inspiring our, our constituency to really take action as far as uh, wealth creation within our community, being politically involved, civically involved, and so it's just a great opportunity for the community to come out, to hear some great speakers, to um, to really do stuff together and, and get to know their neighbors, um, and uh, walk away with a lot of knowledge and information. A lot of times, you know, just even being in the community, people don't always understand what resources are in the community, what things are out here, and so right now you've got so many businesses who are out here and who um, can tell you what they do in the community, what resources they have to support you, to um, you know, really help your household. And so it's great for people to be able to come and support their own um, and to know what's going on in our community. Not only is Columbia a community that is focused on business, but it is also focused on giving and helping others. The annual Midlands Gives fundraising campaign kicked off in a big way and Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine, who also serves as our Mayor Pro Tem, represented City Council in behalf of Mayor Benjamin. Midlands Gives is our fifth annual 24 online giving day event um, where we bring our community together to support local nonprofits through raising money and awareness for the great work that we're doing. Um, right now we're getting ready for our Nephron Mayor's Putting Contest where our regional mayors are coming together to putt for, their, uh, for some favorite nonprofits. Um, if they make their pet, they'll have a $250 prize added on to that nonprofit's total. Um, so it's an exciting day, lots going on, lots of prizes. Well, let's give a special shout out to Mayor Pro Tem, Tamika Isaac Devine, on that hole in one at the Midlands Gives fundraising campaign kickoff. Thank you for watching City View. We hope you've enjoyed the program. And if you have any questions, contact Public and Media Relations at 545-3020. Email us at PIO at ColumbiaSC.net. You can also find out information on our website at ColumbiaSC.net. And please follow us on our social media platforms, especially Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And as always, stay tuned to City TV for the latest information and news from the City of Columbia. As we close our program, the City also celebrated and recognized Public Service Recognition Week during the month of May. In honor of this week, Public Community Relations produced a special video showing testimonials from various City of Columbia employees. Again, as we close, we'd like to share with you our special video about why we serve. I serve because I'm a firm believer in to whom much is given, much is expected and required. So I've got a, a love and a passion for what I do. I'm lucky enough to actually be in a, a job and a position where I, I enjoy getting up every single day. It gives me a chance to give back to others uh, in their uh, greatest time of need. Because I believe that planning for our future is important. I enjoy people. Um, I enjoy being out in the public. Everybody needs that helping hand at times. Well, I think serving your fellow man is very important, and if we care about one another, we serve one another, and that's what all of us should be about. I think that people would feel somewhat um, lost unless you have people in place um, to show you around and show you what, what is available and make people feel welcome. It's about giving back to the community, and also it's about helping those who can't help themselves at that times. One of the most important qualities a public servant should have is being a believer. Very open-minded. Trustworthy. Compassionate. We have to be patient, we have to be kind, we have to be humble. Seeing individuals as individuals and being empathetic to what they're going through. A believer that events, organizations, programs can get better and enhance people's quality of life. Ironically, I think the most rewarding experience and enriching experience I've had was during the flood of 2015. I saw our staff step up with servant hearts and give of themselves like I had never seen before in the private sector. That attitude of we can't fail and um, to pull together and deliver like they did was, was, was very rewarding.
most public servants are not doing this for, you know, any financial reward or gratitude, but I do think that they genuinely love what they do to be in the work that they're in. I want a citizens or somebody's worst day uh, when they thought they have lost it all and they say thank you just for saving someone's life, uh, saving a picture or a photo, or even say, saving an heirloom is gratification enough for us. I, I daily get an opportunity to connect with the citizenry that we, we serve, and it is greatly rewarding to, to me and how I perceive my job myself. All the relationships and connections I've made throughout the years. Seeing those people when you're not working, when you're off the clock, enhances your quality of life so much and I love every day I do it. As public servants, if we don't engage with community members, we're doing a disservice to our community as a whole because we it's so important to be inclusive and to really understand where everyone is coming from in order to build, build a brighter future. We choose to be here. We choose to work with the City of Columbia to serve our citizens. And it's a choice that we all make and, and we need to embrace that, enjoy that, and um, but, but um, understand that, that we appreciate that very, very much. We're one team, one fight. Uh, everybody who's trying to achieve the common goal, which is, which is to make Columbia a greater place. Folks get up every day ready to try to make life um, more pleasant for the community, and everybody works hard. I, you know, I can't say thank you enough to all those people because even though I'm also a public servant, um, I'm also being served for, by all those other people as well. And so my, my, I'm very grateful for everything that all of us do here at the city. It's a great place to work and live.